statements by uh, committee members who reiterate the uh, the science that uh, you uh, have referred to? Well, what we, we, we know unequivocally, because it was, it was narrowed down to the level of isotopes, that there is a direct relationship between lead ammunition and toxic poisoning of condors. Church also used incomplete environmental background data from their own references, and further they ignored one of their references on lead ammunition. Um, isotope ratios alone cannot be used to address the likelihood that one lead source um, is the principal source or preferred source over another lead source. The forensic community does not use isotope ratios in courts of law for good reason. It can only be used to exclude and say they didn't come from the same lead source. But there's so many lead sources that have the same isotope ratio that you can't use it in a court of law. Let me, let me offer a suggestion. I mean, I have got a little bit of history with this with, with lead ammunition in Condor country. Um, there, the Fish and Game Commission can be uh, uh, politicized to such an extent that the environment there is toxic uh, and that commissioners are oftentimes uh, intimidated. Um, and, and are unable to fully express their opinion. Um, last year, the commission was under direction of the legislature through the NAVA bill. And we were in the process of doing all of the science, doing all of the investigation, and were fundamentally preempted by the legislature. Um, the science at that point in time looked sound. I was persuaded at that point in time uh, to do what I believe is the right thing in accordance with what Commissioner Sutton has said in terms of, of the philosophy. But now, with this um, new evidence that has been put in front of us, and I completely agree with Commissioner Sutton in that placing new evidence uh, is often a, simply a tactic. I'm not certain if I detect that this time, um, the extent to which, obviously, Commissioner Sutton does. I uh, don't disagree with, his con with him getting there, but I just am not there. So I detect that there is a distinct possibility that what we were presented with last time was pseudoscience and quite a bit of ideology. And both of those are anathema to proper decision making in the public process.